Roof assembly is in 60 seconds. First, you have your roof deck. That's plywood or OSB nailed down to the rafters. It's the structural surface that everything sits on. Then you have your underlayment. That's a felt or a synthetic that's laid over the deck. It's a water resistant secondary layer underneath the roof covering. You'll have your drip edge. That's metal flashing that's along the eaves and rakes and that directs water down into the gutters. And it protects the deck edge. Then you have the part that everybody knows. That's the roof covering, shingles, tiles, or metal panels. That's the main waterproof layer that sheds rain, snow, and sun. You'll also have flashing. That's a thin metal around chimneys, valleys, and skylights. And intersections where two different materials meet to prevent any water intrusion. You also should have ice and water shield. That is a self-adhesive waterproof membrane at the eaves and rakes and penetrations that seals against any ice dams that may build up and any wind-driven rain. All the way at the top, you'll have your ridge or your ridge cap. That's a cap covering at the roof peak that seals the joint at the roof and it allows for ridge ventilation. For additional pieces, you should also know what your fascia is. That's the vertical trim along the roof edge. That caps the roof rafter ends, supports gutters, and it protects the structure. You should also know what your soffit is. That's the finished underside of the eave. It closes the overhang and it allows an intake for ventilation. And then you have the last part that everybody knows. You have gutters and downspouts. Those are the edge channels and the vertical pipes that collect rainwater and divert the runoff away from your foundation. I try to share tidbits like this every week so that you don't have to learn the lessons that I learned the hard way in construction management.